This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. Meghalaya yesterday recorded yet another highest single-day recovery from COVID-19 with 311 patients declared recovered from the viral infection. With this, the number of recoveries stands at 3,654 in the state now. However, 54 more persons were tested positive for COVID-19, taking the number of active cases to 1,515. Of the fresh cases, 31 were in East Kasi Hills, 12 in West Garo Hills, 6 in East Garo Hills, 2 in Reboy, and 1 each in South Garo Hills, East Jantia Hills and West Jantia Hills District. Meghalaya has so far detected 5,212 COVID-19 cases, of which 1,515 are active, 43 deceased and 3,654 are recoveries. Nagaland reported 94 fresh positive cases of COVID-19 yesterday, while 51 cases were from Kohima, 39 were detected in Dimapur, 2 in Mokukchung and 1 each in Mon and Peck. Among the fresh cases, 66 were from among traced contacts, 21 from the armed forces and 7 returnees. Meanwhile, 89 patients recovered from the infection, which included 65 from Dimapur and 24 from Kohima. As per the latest count, Nagaland has 1,027 active cases and 4,782 recoveries from the viral infection. A 57-year-old woman from Imphal East District expired due to COVID-19 infection yesterday, increasing the fatality count due to the pandemic in Manipur to 64 so far. Health officials informed that 260 persons, including 20 from Central Armed Police Forces, were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases. So far, the state has recorded 10,051 positive cases, of which 7,681 have recovered. The number of cases in Manipur is 2,306 as per the latest assessment. At least 278 more people tested positive for COVID-19 in Tripura yesterday, pushing the coronavirus tally in the state to 24,408. The death toll rose to 265, with three more people succumbing to the infection. West Tripura district, of which state capital Agartala is a part, has accounted for 146 COVID-19 deaths as per the latest count. Tripura currently has 6,151 active coronavirus cases, while 17,969 people have recovered. COVID-19 infection tally rose to 8,671 in Arunachal Pradesh yesterday as 253 more people, including 45 security personnel and 5 health care workers, tested positive for the virus. Of the fresh cases, 116 were reported from the capital complex, including Itanagar. Meanwhile, at least 159 people were discharged from various hospitals as they recovered from the virus. Arunachal Pradesh now has 2,427 active COVID-19 cases, 14 deaths while 6,230 people have recovered from the viral infection. Assam Health Minister Imanta Biswa Sarma yesterday said the government will spend 134 crore rupees to set up a 500-bed emergency wing and other infrastructure at the Silchar Medical College and Hospital. He inaugurated a 40-bed intensive care unit yesterday. Dr. Sama said the ICU will be expanded to a 100-bed facility by the end of this year. The Silchar Medical College and Hospital is the main COVID-19 hospital in the Barak Valley, comprising Kachar, Hailakandi and Karimganj districts. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in the country and abroad in the Monkey Bath program on All India Radio at 11 this morning. It will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Dudarshan and also on All India Radio News website www.newsonair.com and News On Air mobile app. All India Radio will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The regional language versions will be repeated at 8 in the evening. Assam and Nagaland have stressed on the need for both sides to have regular communication between senior officials of the two states looking into boundary-related matters for a cordial relationship. A chief secretary-level meeting on Assam-Nagaland boundary issues was held in Dimapur district of Nagaland on Friday. 
It was stressed that the superintendents of police of the bordering districts of the two states enhance coordination and cooperation among themselves. They should take prompt action against criminals and anti-social activities in the boundary areas, an official statement said. It was also decided to encourage frequent sports and cultural exchanges between the people living along the interstate boundary between Assam and Nagaland. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.